where we currently have our um, uh, summer project exhibition, which runs through until the 16th of January. Um, it's a show focusing on 11 different projects, um, a format that we actually adopted this time last year. Uh, Michael Stevenson always hosted a group exhibition at the end of the year with, with work by all the artists represented by the gallery. And um, over time, we decided it would be better to select a few more substantial bodies of work, hence the, the project format which we're working with here. It also enables us to work with artists who we don't actually represent, but um, whose work we like and we work with on an ad hoc basis, such as Jane Alexander, who is included here with a new series of prints that she produced for the and um, someone like Rita Erasmus, who shows two large-scale sculptures. We've actually worked with her um, Previously in 2005, uh, we included her on the curated exhibition in the Making Materials and Process. And that was the first in a trilogy, uh, we show the second and third here now. So she's an artist who, who produces very slowly and it doesn't actually make sense for us to work with her um, on a more regular basis. But this format allows us to incorporate what we think are really exciting and various new sculptures. It's a show that um, goes across the media. So we've got photographic prints, a whole new body of work by Sabello Mangani, for example, who we haven't actually um, shown at the gallery with a solo exhibition yet. We've also got a body of um, photographs by Guy Tillum, which he actually produced for the Rome Photo Festival in 2009. So these haven't been shown before in South Africa, and there won't actually be an exhibition of the body of the work yet. But um, we just show a selection of them in this exhibition. There are new paintings by Tracy Kane and Tom Colberg, an artist showing with us for the first time. Uh, we also have a new video by Danae Wapape, who again shows with us on a bad basis. Then works by gallery favourites, um, stalwarts like Bernie Searle and um, Philip Bosov, who shows with the gallery on and off, and um, Zanelli Mapoli, who actually um, put on a, a performance slash intervention at the opening. This is based on a project which she first did in Amsterdam in the Red Light District, where she put herself on display in a window in the Red Light District. And she repeated this here at the opening, um, which made it quite a fun event. That show at Michael Stevenson, Cape Shackers, developed um, out of my second year of work, which was in 2005, that I started working with the mandala and kaleidoscope and the floral imagery. The Cape Flora as inspiration and work with the seven colors of the rainbow in relationship to our chakra system. Consciously it, it like created like this, but they have a kind of space age, they're like, like a, a hybrid kind of plot. The sculptures are very kind of like spaceship, skeletal, floating things, and they're also quite futurist, and then the lighting was subdued, and it 
It felt like a kind of cosmos that space. But that was like a thread working with colour, and that's what you also see in my studio is this, this rainbow kind of colour thing, which a lot of people are very afraid of the rainbow, you know, mm -hmm. the connotations and it's like a little bit too fantasy, but it's, it's so of our world. I mean, one of the most beautiful compliments I ever had was actually when one of the, the night watchmen or the watchmen of, of Michael's other gallery, apparently they told me he'd come in, sit in front of my work for about an hour during his break, and it was a picture of a young man's face, and he used to just look at it. And that's like, for me, the biggest compliment because it's not, he wasn't coming to work on an intellectual level, he was coming on personal, emotional, just person, human being, relating to something and not going up into the you know, town. Uh, looking at the books in my studio, the, the books that I use as reference for my work and that I you know, look through in between painting and books and magazines and books that are important to me. I was kind of just started grouping them on the floor and, and um, saw a, um, a connection between and, and um, a, a possibility to to tell kind of tell a new story. And through that, I kind of realised the potential of uh, painting a portrait of someone through the through the book collection. Well, I mean, the, the fascinating thing is that it's both about. Um, the person who, who the books belongs to, the, the author and the, the story of the, the book, and um, obviously the me, the painter, kind of comes in between and manipulating. It was quite a shock when the, when the painting came to, to this this big space from my studio, and it worked quite differently in the in the gallery. It was actually quite hard to hang it to get the get the right um, narrative in between. You know, uh, uh, each each book that that is the starting point's got a narrative. In itself, and then I, I build onto that. They keep fascinate me, and, and they.